Stem cells are unspecialized cells that have the capability of renewing themselves through cell division. Stem cells also have the potential to become different cell types depending on the signals they receive from their environment. Not all stem cells have the same capacity to generate different cell types. A fertilized egg or zygote is said to be totipotent, that is, it has the ability to give rise to every cell type in the entire body, as well as the placenta. Other stem cells are pluripotent and have the ability to develop into every cell type in the body, but lack the ability to give rise to extra embryonic tissue, such as the placenta. Still others are more restricted in the type of cells they can become and are said to be multipotent. Embryonic stem cells, or ES cells, are pluripotent stem cells derived from embryos generated by in vitro fertilization. Following fertilization, the egg divides first into two cells, then into four. With more divisions, a multicellular ball of cells known as a blastocyst is formed. The blastocyst is a hollow ball made up of two cell layers. An outer layer, called the trophoblast, eventually forms the placenta, and an inner cluster of cells known as the inner cell mass becomes the embryo. At this stage, the inner cell mass is made up of embryonic stem cells. It is possible to extract these embryonic stem cells with a pipette and culture them in the laboratory. Under appropriate culture conditions, these embryonic stem cells divide or self-renew and the cell mass grows. The ability of embryonic stem cells to self-renew indefinitely while retaining their undifferentiated pluripotent state is a key feature of these cells. Cells from a single petri dish can be used to seed many other petri dishes. In this way, unlimited numbers of undifferentiated pluripotent stem cells can be produced and maintained. If appropriate signaling molecules are provided, ES cells can be coaxed into becoming many different mature cell types. Groups of cells may develop properties of bone cells or of pancreatic cells. Others resemble muscle cells that can contract and still others acquire the characteristics of nerve cells. By generating large numbers of differentiated cells from ES cells, scientists hope to replace cells in the body that have been lost or damaged by injury or disease. However, because ES cells generated from IVF blastocysts will have a different genetic background from that of the recipient, the grafted cells may be rejected. It would therefore be desirable to transplant ES cells that are a genetic match to the recipient. Until recently, it was not possible to induce a fully mature cell from an adult animal to become another cell type. However, this hurdle has now been overcome. Shinya Yamanaka found that by inserting four specific genes into adult cells, the cells will revert to an embryonic pluripotent state. One technique uses viral vectors to insert these genes into adult skin cells. The cells carrying the vector are selected and expanded in culture. Cells generated in this way are referred to as induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPS cells. Like ES cells generated from blastocysts, iPS cells can self-renew and can also be induced to differentiate into specialized cells. Because the iPS cells can be made directly from the cells of a patient, an immune response may be avoided. The technique also does not require the destruction of a human embryo in order to derive pluripotent stem cells.